Rob Bush here. Just want to give you guys an update uh, the window motor with the Arduino control. Um, I've moved everything inside for the winter so I can continue to work on it. But uh, we've got a little more light in here so I thought I'd give an overall view of everything real quick. Um, this side here, that's the battery we're using off of a cordless drill just for running reasons. Uh, we've got the sequential bipolar circuit here. Um, the only thing that's different than normal is that it's actually being activated through an opto isolator that's controlled by an Arduino. This one's a four channel. Um, I'm only using two right now. That's actually just the drives. The uh, input trigger are uh, Hall Effect. And I can show you the, the wheel here and the three little magnets. You can see two of them there. And the two Halls with their mounts, but uh, what I wanted to really show, yeah guys, is uh, on the computer now what we've got going on and where we're going with that, but uh, what we got here is a, a serial readout and I'll show you the code and we'll spin this motor up and watch what goes on here, still hand turning, but uh, what we got here now is a display of RPM and fire time. The 6000 is uh, microseconds, so it's like 6 milliseconds. You can see that it's already down to 4. And we'll see the code part here. It starts at 6 for that RPM, 5, 4, 3, 2. So we're yeah, here we're still at three, but you can actually sometimes hear that when it speeds up and it kicks down in the time. But uh, looking for the fire time two thousand. When does that kick in at? Seventeen eighty one. Uh, so it's fixing too as soon as it gets a little more speed. But, so obviously this can be brought down even more to get it faster and faster. Um, I want to uh, kind of think there's probably better ways of doing this if or else statements. But, uh,. Uh, we still haven't got into the 2000, you know. Did it just before I started filming the video. It would get up to the uh, max speed there of 1820. I wonder uh, if we got some wires touching or something. Oh, I see one 2000. It's not going to do it this time. But you can kind of get an idea of how it did pick up its speed and drop the time. Um, oh, sorry about the shaking there. The other thing, oh, <laughs> Gary, I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> is uh oh, let me get that pulled up here here we go working on a little GUI interface that'll play on the computer and you'd uh, send it up update the uh, Arduino uh, it's kind of in preliminary stages I have yet for it to communicate between each other but we would have different uh, firing modes a single pose pulse or multiple pulses, manual or automatic, so forth, but uh, it's kind of what I'm working on on the side of trying to get this other piece going. Anyway, this raw bush piece. 